This is our newest tea maker design. By taking this jar, we're running the water up. It's a very unique thing that uses a four-way valve. On the right-hand side is the air brake going up to there. That's what will shut it down. It just finished the cycle and now it's filling up. Where is it getting its water? Well, in this test setup, it's getting it from underneath the aquarium. So you have a standpipe in the aquarium with slits in it. it. Takes the water down. The water gets pumped up with air. Notice the green hose there? Well, folks, that's bringing in air. The air comes into a one and a half inch pipe, goes down from the bottom, is released into a one inch pipe, where it comes up to this jar, air and water, mixing it up. This has been running for 24 hours now, test mode. And what we did is we take off that purple lid and we put in a sack of what? Worm castings or compost. It then burbles and it turns into a chocolate brown. And then when it reaches the height of what? Ah, this height's right there. See that height there? That is equal to the level of the water over here when she was high. Comes up to there, comes down, and then she goes. Notice she's now gonna stop. That water flow there is gonna stop because that water in there got to the bottom of the air brake of this piece of pipe is cut off about here. And that shut it down because it lets the air come into this piece of pipe, stopping the siphon. Now we start filling back up. When we get up to volume, when this water gets here, equal to there, the water will start flowing again, there. And it will come up to a full siphon, and that will fill up the cinder bed. Now in this case, this cinder bed is connected to that jar. And that jar will fill up, and then the water will be returned down to the fish again. Okay, so here we come, full circle. We're going to take a walk around here, and you can see it here. So you have your aquarium going out the bottom of the aquarium. We have the two-inch pipe going over. It has a drain on it, so for cleaning up, I can do that. But other than that, the air water pump pumps it up to this. And that agitation will make some fantastic worm teeth. And so, we come to here. We're now going to come, we get to this height, which is equal to that pipe there, and voila, we're going to start a new cycle. This cycle has gone off about every 60 seconds. Okay. So, it's a continuous flow tea maker that's using the air that pumped the water up from your fish tank up to your cinder bed, up to there, and then she's going to come over there again. So you kind of a unique situation here. Thought you might enjoy this. Kind of a unique application. The efficiency of using the same air that's pumping the water up to your cinder bed to also make a very aerated, agitated worm tea. That's our good morning for you.